Hey guys, Jared Transformational Coaching, Action is Transformation. In this video, we're going to get into some deep truths about relationship that are important to be aware of if you want to create a beautiful relationship for yourself, but also for your life. I can remember growing up and never really knowing if the people that I was close to or with, if some of them were trustworthy or not. And so that really affected the way that I developed and built relationships later on in my life. And as I, as I started dating more people, creating more conscious relationships, I started to notice that there were some deep truths that I was afraid to face. And as I've grown and faced more of those deeper truths, I've come to find that if you can face and live these truths on a daily basis, life is going to be a little bit easier for you and there's going to be less pain involved in the relationships. And frankly, I think if you follow these truths, then you're going to be able to create beautiful relationships for yourself, but also for the people in your life and the people around you. For most of us, if you've grown up in the 21st century in modern living, and you're, you have the ability to watch this on video, then chances are you grew up in a household uh, that was a little bit deprived of all the emotional needs that it needed. I know for me, growing up unconsciously, my heart actually shut down, and I didn't even know it, but I shut it down in order to protect myself, because when your heart doesn't have its needs met, uh, what it does is naturally shut down and numb so it doesn't feel pain. And then that's when addictions of all different types start to come in. The heart gets hungry. It's like anything else. So we really want to be aware of how we open up our heart, how we close it off, who we open it up to, and when we close it off as well. So hard truth number one about relationships. Many of us, because we're not taught this in society, we're not taught this in school, Many of us don't trust our abilities, our capacity, or our capability to develop a deep, healthy relationship. This is what happens when your heart is naturally, your heart naturally wants love, it naturally wants affection, and naturally wants to be fed. And so when you're out there in the world or at home or just connecting with individuals, if you don't trust yourself to speak up for the needs of your heart, then the heart naturally shuts down. This is why so many people have a lot of heart disease, there's a lot of heart attacks. Uh, I don't want to make that bold claim uh, across the board because I think that would be illegitimate. But when we don't speak our truth, when we don't speak up for our needs, and many individuals haven't been able to speak up for their needs and what it is that they want in relationship, then what happens is the heart naturally closes down. It closes off because it's afraid of being hurt. It's afraid of feeling pain. It, it, it's afraid that it's not going to be able to feel all of the emotion. And that's what happens is when we shut ourselves down, we, be, we, we, we become numb and we stop feeling so we can make it through life easier. But that comes at a high price, and the high price of that is not feeling. When we shut down the heart unconsciously, remember this, this happens unconsciously. It happens usually in response. It, ta it's, it's a, it takes conscious willpower to turn the heart back on. When the heart shuts down, what happens is you create belief systems within your mind. Remember, the mind follows your energy. And so if you're not feeding your heart and suddenly you shut down that part of, let's say you're not speaking up for your needs in relationship, um, or you never were shown how to speak for, up for your needs in relationship, then the heart shuts down. And then when the heart shuts down, uh, what happens is you create belief systems around that shutdown, such as I'm not worthy of love, or who will actually really love me, or I don't deserve that type of person. That's what happens with the heart. But when the heart's fully turned on and it's always revving, it's going, and you can feel this in your energy field if you're really sensitive to it, you're going to feel more connected and you're going to feel worthy of receiving anything and everything just because you're a human being. Why wouldn't your needs be, be able to be met and deserve to be met? Number two, if you want to enjoy a relationship fully, then you have to show up fully. That's just how life works. If you want to enjoy a business fully, you got to show up fully. If you want to enjoy a client relationship, you got to show up fully. It's really all about bandwidth. It's a question of bandwidth here. 
So when it comes to uh, relationship, it's the same thing. If you want someone to show up for you fully, then you got to show up fully for them and hold them accountable to them showing up fully for you. Now, that doesn't mean being a, a stickler all the time about every single little thing, but it does mean showing up and, and asking for what's this relationship functioning around. For me, I've created relationships in the past unconsciously where it was just mutual support. And then after that, it was like, oh, what about mutual desire and mutual want? And so it's really important to recognize that if we want to enjoy a really healthy, enjoyable relationship, then we have to show up fully. We have to show up as our full, full unbridled self and then ask for our needs to be met in a specific way communicating those needs, merging the heart with the throat and communicating from both. Now here's the reality, you don't have to have a partner who's squeaky clean and has everything figured out. The reality of love or unconditional love is it's you just accept the person for who they are and you choose to love them. Now what's important about giving your heart to someone before you've decide or commit to give your heart to someone or your energies to someone, make sure that they have the capacity and the capability to love you in return or that they're willing to love you in return in the same way that they that you're showing up for them. It's really important to have uh, reciprocal relationships where we can show up for one another in these ways. If we're not showing up for them and they're not showing up for us, well then the reality of it is is that relationship isn't going to last too long. So your partners don't have to be squeaky clean. That that would be holding them to some ideal standard. However, they should you should hold them to the standards that you hold yourself to to some sense. So your partner doesn't have to be squeaky clean. They don't have to be this perfect ideal image like the movies make it out to be because here's the reality all the movies say oh you gotta you gotta be this way you gotta be that way like here's the perfect relationship this is what it looks like but that's just an idea and if you're only willing to give love to someone who's not showing up as the ideal image that you have well that's not really a that's not really a true love or that's not truly a relationship. Deep relationship goes beyond all of that. Number three, we're all damaged goods. Look, we've all made mistakes, we've all been hurt, we've all haven't had certain needs met in our life or have had needs met in a certain way but wasn't done the right way. That's a part of life. But the beauty of a relationship is it gives you an opportunity to connect and be with another person and show up in a way that allows you to be fully accepted and seen by them and them to be fully accepted and seen by you. It's important to do both. It's important to show up to people, be fully present with them, fully present with your partner, and, that, and ask them to be fully present with you. Now, in an ideal world, that's not always possible. Granted, uh, I think it takes time to develop that level of presence and it also takes you speaking up for your needs and speaking up for your truth and saying, hey, this is what I need in a relationship. This is what I want in a relationship. Can you show up in that way? The best part of creating a beautiful relationship is having someone in your life where you can consciously ask them to reflect back to you the greatest parts of yourself when in moments of doubt or when they're in their moments of anxiety. Ultimately, any time that we're in a moment of anxiety or worry, we're looking outside of ourselves for our power because we feel like we've lost it. We feel like we uh, don't know what to do, we're not sure what we need to do or say next, so we look outside in the outside world for someone to reflect back to us. A great partnership looks at another human being two people come together and they say, I want you to evoke the greatest version of me. I want you to accept me for who I am, but also hold me to higher standards as well too. And when I forget the greatness of who I am, can you reflect that back to me? That's what a beautiful relationship is about. That's how we create really important partnerships. Ones that are full of love, enjoyment, value, mutual respect, and admiration. 
it's a great thing to have a partner in your life who can reflect back to you all the greatest parts of yourself. And it is out there. Uh, I know some individuals might, I mean, I've even thought about this. I'm like, man, is that too, am I holding too high of standards? But that person is out there. What, what's great is human beings create each other. We can evoke the lowest nature out of us or we can evoke the highest nature out of us. We can evoke all different aspects out of each other. And so if you want to have a beautiful relationship, then it's important for you to show up in a way that allow, that evokes the best out of that other person. And when you live in that space, it's a really powerful space to live from. That's all I got for this time. Thanks so much for joining me, you guys. If you like what you've seen here, please check out the link below. What I'm actually doing is I've built a course called The Book of Life, and it's everything that I wished I had known growing up. They say that there's no life manual. Well, I've created a manual, and it's about a two-and-a-half-hour class that speaks and goes really deep into creating life the way that you want it, the connection between the internal world and the external world, uh, and what and what it's all, what life is really about, and how you can uh, keep yourself from burnout, how you can get motivated, how you can goal set, how you can follow your passion, live your dreams, all those really great things that we talk about in the coaching industry. That's all I have for this time. Thank you so much for joining me, you guys. Be looking out for the next videos, and if you haven't yet, please subscribe or share with any family or friends, as I'd love for more of this work to go out in the world. Bye for now.